Hey everybody! It's Landon here! Welcome back to a Master of Orion 2 Let's Play. I'm just going ahead and starting up the expansion phase of my game here. When we last left off, I was in a secure situation. I had my stuff, I had missile bases on each of these planets, and that should be enough to keep the uh, computer off of my uh, planets for the foreseeable future. Or, you know, at least the future for now. Now, our goal is going to be... Uh, let's get some scouts up first so we can see what's around. Cloning Center is just a straight up plus 100 population per turn on each planet that's built. Which, basically one of those, it means I'm getting more than the enemy computers per turn. Just from that alone. And soil enrichment, that's a bonus to uh, our food production. So we've already gotten a bonus to our, we have a, a bonus to food, a bonus to production, and a bonus to science. All built, ready. Now, currently our goal is going to be two things. Oh, let's see here, colony ship two. We got, we got two goals during our expansion phase. First, we need to get up to uh, planetary supercomputer. That's another plus two to research. So that will be an extra 50% down here. The getting planetary supercomputer opens up the ability to get a lot of other technology things. Because you notice this price here, it goes up. It goes up each... Uh, each time we get a uh, level. So we're going to need that if we want to get any of the good techs. Second, we want to grab some territory. We don't want to grab too much. We want it to be fairly easy to defend. Something we can missile base up and have a nice central fleet in a located area to give, do spot defense. So I'm thinking something like this. If this one's really good, I might take it to not sure how many I'll be able to nab though, because he hasn't expanded once, and he hasn't expanded once. He's going in that direction, so that's good. Alright, so first thing we're going to need to do is get our scouts up. Let's take a look at what we've got. Orange stars are usually pretty good, so I'll start looking at them. Okay, yeah, got a little eye on that there. Medium radiated ore. It's got a lot of asteroids and uh, gas giants. Those can be turned into good planets later. Out of range. You, you next. Okay, well that's so much for that scout. Okay, this is Orion. Name, it's what the game's named after. It's a super planet. And it's guarded by a super monster called the Guardian. If you defeat the Guardian, you get the planet. Simple as that. Now, uh, important thing to consider is that when you uh, get this planet, you get four super technologies and a super ship. And it's basically intended that when you get this planet, that's probably game if you get it early game. So, since uh, you can do use tricks on the Guardian and the computer is not smart enough to use those tricks, I'm not going to be using those tricks to crack Orion early. So, instead I will build a new scout and see what I have in around me. I was saying. I need you on production. You can stay on research. Actually, no, you need to be on production too. You need a cloning center and soil enrichment as well. Oh, got a cloning center already. Yes. 
Once you've got a cloning center, you always want to make sure you have at least one guy missing from each planet so you can keep the bonus from that cloning center. Once you're maxed, you lose your population bonus. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, we found a uh, stranded guy, and he's a pretty good one, too. Ew. Tiny. Those two things very later on in the game could be turned into decent planets, but tiny worlds aren't really all that good. They end up taking up a lot of, uh, a lot of money, because they can't grow a large population, which is how you, much who you tax to pay for all the buildings you're building. Since there's not a large population, there's not a large tax space, thus they end up being sinks for your cash. I usually do not colonize them until very late in the game. Oh dear, we can go straight to Mechlon. <laughs> I'm glad I got my defense bases up. Let's see here, small, small's also getting a little iffy. That medium ocean, though, is nice. I'm probably going to want that. Especially to keep it out of the hands of these guys, because they can grow food. Any planet that can grow food is a good thing. Want it in my hands. You know what? I'm going to let you grow one more, and then you're going to get your uh, cloning center, too. You got soil enrichment. Okay. <clears throat> Good. So you're going to be making colony ships. And afterwards you're going to be making freighter fleets so that I can transfer colonists to the new planets and another colony ship. Good. They got a large desert planet. Nice. You can grow some food on that, but not nearly as good as you can, say, the uh, swamp planet that I got. Not a horrible start. Oh! Nothing you can do with this planet. You can't put any population on gas giants or asteroid belts, so you can't ever build the production needed to turn them into regular planets. That system is dead. You cannot build any sh any colonies in that system. And the last two within our easy to obtain range. Space Dragon. Oh dear. <laughs> Alright. Space Dragon is... Oh, really? A beast that exists partially in hyperspace has appeared. It is feared it will randomly destroy ships in hyperspace for an indefinite period of time. It won't be indefinite. It'll just be until it's finished. So, yeah, it'll just be a little while. Yeah, the basic idea there is that uh, any ships in space that are in flight are now going to randomly be destroyed. So something expensive like, say, the colony ship that will be done soon, I cannot send to another planet without risking it getting destroyed. Which means I'm not sending it anywhere. So let's see here. Natives. Got four. Here it is. Large 24 population ultra rich. That's eight production per person, normal gravity, and it's got natives for tons of food. Yeah, that planet is the reason it's guarded by a monster. I, if I'm ever able to pry that monster off, that planet will be great. Oh, let's see here. Nice. Oh, well, that's a nice system. I like it. Good. You can now go to research. And you will store your production in Starbase. This way we can get a little research going as we're getting our, our build going. So, let's see here. I know I want... I'm, I will eventually want that planet. I don't really want that one. This one is nice. And that's also the one that's most in danger. So I'm going to get this one 
And then I'm gonna get this one. This one to keep the keep the Clackons from taking it over. This one to keep the Mechlar from taking it over. And then this one finally, the least valuable one, to keep the Alkari from taking it over. And then uh, I'll explore there, see what's there, and that's probably gonna be my territory though. If I'm able to uh, take down this dragon, then I'll have that super planet too. So that should be that should be a, a longer term goal. These four though, that should be enough. That should be enough to uh, give me a good territory. Okay. Okay then. Research proceeding well. We have our plans. Let's go for it. We have to build our colony ship. Five more turns. This, that level we went to, literally it's just a throwaway as far as I'm concerned. I did it only to get this planetary supercomputer. Positronic computer, also nice, because that gives you some real firepower with your guns. Now we're going to have to start worrying about spies. Oh great, the Darlocks are in there. Yeah, we got spies. You know what? Since we can't actually colonize immediately... Let's just go ahead and get some spies up. I really need them. There we go. I want to keep that population bonus going. Oh crap, I never made any more freighters, did I? Not a problem. More freighters. I don't have enough freighters, so I can't give food to that population out there. Oh, there we go. I'm building so many buildings that I'm starting to lose money. Probably. Whoa! Well then! Excellent. Okay. Now we have to start making some hard decisions. Uh, where we colonize first. Good. Actually, you know what? You're a rich planet. You can build a colony ship too. Okay, this one, one I'm most concerned about being poached. They just colonized that one, which means they probably have just built a colony ship. They colonized that one a while back, so they're probably the closest. They also have more production. Good. We have our first colony. We need to get a missile base up fast. I'm gonna go ahead and take... You know what? No. They've probably got ships by now. I better get that missile base up fast. Which means I'm going to do that to get it up first. Probably going to end up buying it. Now then, I need to go ahead and ship some of my extra population over to this new colony. Uh, 
Up, uh, that's not good. By the missile base. Up, we're going for war. Destroyer, huh? All right. Well then. See what we can make. That's why you have to get your missile base up fast. I can do a destroyer too. So actually, the only thing I can build is a destroyer because I don't have a star base. I sold mine. Let's call it militia. Now then. Since I don't have nearly enough guns to handle what those guys can bring, I am instead going to be using missiles. And in order to survive this ship for a period of time, I will put on heavy armor. This combat's going to be not good. There's no way I'm going to beat them uh, in initiative, so I'm not even going to try because this Mershan build. This is going to be an expensive war. I'm low on food. No, I'm not. Blockaded. You're not receiving food anymore. All right, let's go ahead and evict them. I hope. Yeah. Let's see here. What are we dealing with? We got a hero there. Missile evasion 20%. You know what? If it doesn't retreat, I've got a pretty good chance of beating it. I really don't think it can shoot our missiles down. And I should have more than enough missiles to blow that ship up. Yep, it retreated. Good. I cannot reach it. No problem. This means our next goal is going to be take down this plant, this uh, planet here. Then I can put some ships there, and that will allow them to uh, protect that planet. Okay. Nice little interesting start. Let's see here. Colonies. What we're we doing on those colony ships? Oh, nice. Thank you. I needed that. Cannot reach there because it's out of range for them. The Kalthi ships and my scout can get there because they have additional range. Because, you know, they're scouts and they're colony ships. Warships, not so much. Oh, also, command. Ships, uh, basically, uh, command points. I've got, I'm using one to take care of my frigate, four to take care of my destroyers, that's two for each, and one for my non-combat ship. That's more than the amount of command I've got. So now I'm, I'm each one of those that's negative, I'm paying 10 BC per round four. So, um, that means it's time to scrap the scout. That, gives, that frees up a little command, which means I'm no longer in the red. And you can take that over. Here 
We're getting to research phase now. Oh, wow. Or that'll keep you from accidentally building it. Now the Mershan are going to come after this colony. They're going to come after it fast. So... I got the ships there, though. means I've got the ships there I'm hoping that'll be enough to uh, protect that colony and I don't have ships in this area so I'm just gonna hope that those guys don't attack it they haven't been doing much of anything now that we need to spread around some guys. Natch. doing it. Excellent. We've almost secured ourselves and we've gotten our research bonus at the almost the same time. Well, oh, that's a nice thing. Now all we need to do is secure this guy. Seriously? Okay. It might be faster to just do the automated factory first. Whoa! So much for those transport ships! Alright, so now the Marchand has figured something out. He's figured out that he's got faster ships than I do, which means he's just gonna go ping-ponging between these two colonies unless one of my ships can shoot him down. Okay, great, Darlox. Those guys are super spies, which means they're gonna want my tech. By the way, notice how it's blockaded. If they've got ships over my colony and we're at war, then they can inflict a 50% uh, penalty on production and food and basically everything, which is nasty. So just parking your ships around a planet if you can't take it is valid. Hello, what do we have here? This is the elections. The High Council has convened to elect one leader to be Emperor of the Galaxy. I have been nominated. This other guy has been nominated. And the reason we were nominated is because we have the two most populist factions in the galaxy. Cylons abstain. 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 I guess I'll abstain too. I, yeah, you have to get a vote of uh, two-thirds in order to uh, be elected. That's not happening. Oh. 
What do you got? Still ten, huh? I should be able to play. I should be able to break him. Oh, I am totally not going to be able to break him. Well, that's a problem now, ain't it? Only one thing we can do about that. I totally forgot to build my supercomputers. Almost secured ourselves. They withdrew their ship. I'll take it. Let's see here races. Not sure why they withdrew it, but I'll take it. Cool. So let's see here. Colonies. Uh, I, I think we may almost be secure. All we gotta do now. Is secure this last one, and then we got it. High levels of research. And we just got five more turns to go. Come on, we can do it. Uh, one more. Done. And we've got this. Increases the production of each worker at plus two. Things are about to get much better for us. Much better. And so we have compl successfully completed our first expansion phase of the game. We are secure. We have an excellent research bonus. And we're ready to go. Uh, but we'll have to go ahead and do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Landon, and I hope you've been enjoying Master of Orion 2.